Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. If you watched my last vlog, then you will know over the next couple of days, we've got a few appointments. Um, Avery has an appointment with her community nurse today and she also has her very first dentist appointment. Um, with a um, specialised dentist. We made this referral a really long time ago so we've been waiting for it for a very long time and um, I explained a bit more as to why we've gone down this route in my last video so check that one out if you're interested. Um, Avery also has an EEG tomorrow. Once again I talked a little bit more about this in my last video um, but long story short um, Avery has been having these um, suspicious twitches or she had been having them. We gave her a short course of Clobazam just in case they were epileptic and then also started her on a new anti-epileptic drug. Um, since the Clobazam the twitches have stopped so I don't anticipate finding anything in this EEG however it is still something that her paediatrician wants her to do. Um, but since the twitches have not come back since we stopped the clobazam and since that wore off out of her system i do suspect that they were probably epileptic and that broke the cycle my thought process is if they were dystonic and they were a symptom of her dystonia then they would have come back they haven't so who knows but either way we're going to take her for that eeg tomorrow i am not looking forward to it it's early in the morning, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it means that we still have the rest of the day. Um, but it's all those sticky taps all over her head. Her poor hair is going to take me ages to get the sticky residue out. I know some of you guys have recommended Dawn dish soap. However, I don't think we get that in the UK. Um, does normal dish soap work? I don't know. I mean, by the time you've seen this video, I'm really, really hoping that I would have already managed to get it all out of her hair. Um, I may even ask um, the technician if she can give me some of their solution that they use. Anyway, um, before Avery's nurse appointment, I thought I would cut the boy's hair because it's well overdue and with us going away a week on Monday, which is insane. Um, I want to make them look fresh and um, I don't want them with a full heavy mop of hair because it's going to be hot out there. I know there's heat waves in Europe at the moment, uh, not in the UK or not in this part of the UK anyway, but apparently in parts of Europe it's getting up to like high 30s which is insane. I really hope it's not that hot. Anyway, I need to get out the bits and bobs so I'm going to borrow Josh's clippers because his are or can be cordless there are also scissors and a comb in there so that should be fine and then I just want to get the bathroom ready so that they can just run straight up into the shower when they are done that's one of the bonuses of cutting the boys hair myself I used to take them to a barber um, but during COVID obviously I couldn't take them to a barber or a hairdresser so I had to learn how to cut their hair and ever since um, I have been cutting so Josh's and the boys hair at home they have not actually been to a barber since um, and there's lots of pros to it I suppose cost being one of them and by the time I walk the boys to a hairdresser's have their hair cut and then walk back it probably take about the same amount of time as it would for me to do it at home so um I wish the boys were happy with me cutting their hair they're not because they say I take too long but I am getting quicker I am getting quicker so that's a good thing so I'm gonna wrangle up one of the boys and um get chopping so Zachary is the first in the chair this morning I'm gonna be the other ones oh he's just gonna have bad luck anyways I'm not so what do you reckon all shaved off uh, what do you mean? All shaved off. No. Bold. No. Okay. Um, no, mate, the only things I need to shave is this part, this part, and th this part. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Just shave off all those parts I said, please. 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 Alright, you ready? Sit up straight for me. Back straight, that's it, thank you. Try and save mommy's back a little bit. Finish with the 
boys' hair, just uh, cleaning up the aftermath. So I made a bit of a boo-boo with Zach's hair and I've never done it before. Um, I was neatening up the edges and um, I went to do a little bit of blending with what I thought was the grade one on the clipper. There was no grade on it. So I literally just shaved a chunk out of his hair. So he's got a bit of a skin fade, which I wouldn't even call it a skin fade. His back and sides are no grade. Um, I've never gone that short on his hair before, but I think I've just about managed to pull it together. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to, but I think it looks all right. Um, he definitely looks much older for it, which I'm not too sure I'm really pleased about. Um, but yeah, I managed to pull it together, Zach's okay with it. First he was like, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. But I managed to um, managed to pull it together and now he's okay with it. So uh, yeah, that was a little bit stressful. I am not gonna lie. Um, Eli was absolutely insistent that he keep his fringe. So uh, I didn't go quite as short on Eli's. Um, but yeah, they're, they're done now. Um, that should hopefully see them into the new school year as well, with nice fresh hair. Um, I think maybe Zach's might look a little bit less um, dramatic once it's grown out just a tad, which, I mean, by the time we go away, it probably would have already grown out a little bit. Boy's hair grows so fast. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up and then it'll be time to feed Avery and then shortly after that is her nurse appointment. So. Um, yeah, um, I'll probably catch up with you when I'm feeding Avery actually because there is something that I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to catch up with you about, um, yesterday something kind of came to me. I had a bit of a, a realisation, an unfortunate realisation at that, but a realisation. And oddly enough, when I was going through the comments from the video that I published yesterday, uh, which was actually my um, pantry organisation video, which didn't do so well, might I add. Never, my organisational videos never do well. It's such a shame because I absolutely love that kind of stuff. I know that some of you guys do, but for some reason they just never do very well. But anyway, I um, have mentioned before how Avery's left knee is much tighter than her right. Um, and she is on the waiting list to get a little bit of Botox in that knee. So I'm gonna just point you down just slightly. It might cut off the top of my head, but just so you can see her leg. So this is her right leg, and obviously she's not really in the best position to straighten it out fully, but she can straighten this leg out fully. Stretches make her laugh, by the way, guys. However, her left leg, you can already see just that rest, it's quite a bit more bent than the right. And this leg, that is as far as I can straighten it out without really putting force into it. Now, you probably would have noticed throughout a lot of my videos, and I have kind of touched upon it on why I do it and whatnot in the past, but I tend to sit with Avery like this. If I'm holding her or if I'm standing up with her, I tend to hold her like this, and that is... Because of her dystonia, it almost kind of prevents a dystonic movement from happening in her legs because Avery can stretch out. And bearing in mind she's very long now, when she stretches out, I very nearly lose my grip on her and it's quite scary. Um, so we keep her nestled in and the neurologist commented on the fact that Josh was holding her like that when we were in an appointment once and he actually said he finds a lot of parents do the same thing and it's just a natural kind of adaptation really because that is what you're doing you are scooping them in to try and stop the dystonia and there's nothing wrong with it however i'm right-handed and josh is right-handed and what we i say what we have noticed what i realized yesterday it's just so weird that somebody else commented on my video this morning what i've realized is that if I need my right hand free, which is usually the hand I will have free because I'm right handed, I will keep my left hand supporting her left leg and this just gives her enough support to keep the dystonia from happening and I can hold her like this stood up as well. But what if that is the reason that her knee is tight on that side? Now, it might not be the case because Avery gets a lot of opportunity. 
are you singing? That's beautiful singing. Um, Avery gets a lot of opportunity throughout the day to stretch her legs, kick her legs. She's not always in this kind of scooped in position. It is just when we are holding her and Avery doesn't love to be held all the time. So we don't hold her all the time. Um, she's usually either playing on her play mat or in her um, stander or in her special tomato now and again or in her pea pod. And in all of those pieces of equipment and on the floor, she is able to stretch her leg out more. She's not scooped in, if you know what I mean. So I don't know if, you know, just this, what I've been doing, what Josh has been doing is enough to have been able to cause that stiffness in her knee, but it's an interesting thought. Um, I am gonna bring it up with Avery's um, nurse this afternoon, um, just to see what she thinks about it, or just to see if she could pass on that information to um, Avery's paediatrician because it's just really interesting. I mean, it could just be a coincidence, but it's an interesting coincidence. Um, either way, there really isn't a lot we can do about it because we are doing that to stop her from um, going into an extension pattern which makes her stretch out and kind of puts her at risk in a way because when she stretches out like that, she is so strong and it's so, so difficult to keep hold of her. So it's not something that we're gonna be able to stop doing. I mean, I can be mindful not to do it if I really don't need to. Like right now, she is not dystonic. Well, she is dystonic, but she's not in an extensor pattern. She's kind of more craning over to the side. Um, but like, <coughs> Right now, I don't feel the need to have her scooped in. So I can be more kind of mindful and conscious um, not to do it when I don't need to. But other than that, there's really nothing that can be helped because I need to do it to keep her safe. It's kind of the same as, um, I'll pop you back up now so that uh, my head's not cut off. But it's kind of the same as all of her medications. We know that they come with side effects and those side effects aren't ideal and we wouldn't really want to inflict those side effects on her, however, we need to kind of weigh up the pros and cons. So those medications, what they do for her, outweighs what, you know, what negative effects they have on her. So that's why we do it. And it's a bit like what I was talking about with kind of um, balancing what is good for her and her happiness. It's kind of the same thing. It's balancing, balancing the pros and cons in, it's, it's the lesser of two evils, basically. And it's always a catch-22. That always seems to be a, be the way with Avery and everything that we need to do. There's always a catch-22. Nothing is straightforward. There's never really a benefit without there being um, a hindrance. It's just never the case. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought that was really interesting and I thought I would mention that purely because A, Idris came to me yesterday and then B, because it was so, so strange that literally within 12 hours of me realising it, one of you guys have commented on the fact that it's something that you've noticed throughout my videos as well. So really strange, but um, definitely something I am going to keep note of in my mind, try and be more conscious not to keep hold of her legs if I don't need to. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that when she gets her Botox that will kind of help. So now, for example, she is, um, she is going into an extensor pattern and she is so strong that she can push me back. It takes a lot of my strength to scoop her back in. Um, but yeah, hopefully her Botox will help loosen that, um, that knee up a little bit for her, hey put. Um, she's currently in the middle of her feed now, so once that is done, I've got to get the boys some lunch together, get this little missy dressed for the day, hey? Get you dressed for the day! And um, yeah, nurse appointment. And then shortly after her nurse appointment, it will be time to head off to the dentist. It's not far, but it is up a huge hill. And we also live up a huge hill. So we have to go down this hill to go up another and then down that hill to come up this one to come home. So that's gonna be um, fun. <laughs> yeah. 
I might, uh, by the way, I mentioned that the end of this week was supposed to be nice weather and I was kind of reserving some days for some of our outdoor bucket list items. The weather definitely isn't what the forecast promised. Um, but on the way home, what I might do is give the boys an option, either to get an ice cream because that was on their bucket list or to pick up some snacks and then come home and watch a movie because that was also on their bucket list. Um, we've just had a new kind of like American sweet shop, uh, sweet shop, sweet store. That was something between store and shop, I think. Um, sweet store open in town. So I might see if they want to go in there and pick themselves a pick a mix because they've got like a massive pick a mix wall. We shall see what they want to do. Um, but yeah, so um, I will probably catch up with you maybe tomorrow. Um, Avery's EEG is quite early tomorrow, so I very much doubt I'll be able to catch up with you before then, but I'll definitely um, let you know how the appointment today, or appointments today, and how the appointment tomorrow morning goes tomorrow. Hey guys, so we're looking a little bit uh, dishevelled and Avery is not in the best of moods. As you would have seen, she had her EEG this morning um, and oddly enough, Avery would have slept in this morning if I was able to let her, but I had to kind of coax her awake this morning because we had to get out the door for half seven to get to the hospital appointment. Um, the EEG went well. I mean, we don't know any results yet. We won't, um, maybe for a week or two. And I don't, like I said, I don't expect them to find anything. But Avery did really well. She was really chill and calm up until the technician pulled off the tape on her head because she had a little bit of kind of masking tape securing a probe to her head and then a couple to her um, like shoulders. I'm not gonna lie, she wasn't gentle about it. She just ripped it off, no warning, no kind of solution to help ease the, the stickiness. And I haven't heard Avery cry like that since she had her jabs. It was so sad. She was siphing and she couldn't catch her breath. She was so upset, it was horrible. Um, I managed to calm her down pretty quickly, luckily. And um, yeah, she is looking a little bit worse for wear at the moment. Um, she didn't use the glue this time. They just used the um, the paste, which apparently is water soluble. So we're gonna give Avery a nice bath tonight, give her hair a good scrub, and hopefully it will all wash out, fingers crossed. Um, it is keeping it all back away from her face though, because it's that, it's like, it's like gel. It's like there's just tons of gel in her hair and it's all knotty and, we just need to give it a good wash tonight, don't we? 
Um, she is tired. I wouldn't be surprised if she fell to sleep while she's being fed. She's being fed now. Sorry, my camera just stopped recording because my memory card was full. Um, I have taken it out of her dungarees. Oh, baby girl, bless you. Um, because it is quite well. I say it's quite warm. We've got the window open. It feels quite warm. Um, but um, I'm wearing jeans, so that's probably why I'm feeling warm. So I just figured Avery would feel a bit more comfortable in just the t-shirt and a nappy. And normally she does take a massive poo after her second feed. So it's going to be easier for me to get to that as well. Um, but yeah, she is quite tired, which is why she is a little bit miserable. But I explained to the technician everything that was going on. She took some notes on kind of the twitches. She saw one of the videos. Um, so yeah, we'll get the results in a week or two. And um, I'll, I'll let you know. Like I said, I really don't anticipate them really showing anything. Um, we did run into the physio at the hospital. She was on her way to work. And oddly enough, we just happened to be walking into the hospital at the same time. Um, when I spoke to the community nurse yesterday, I mentioned to her about um, Avery's knee and asked if she thought, you know, the way we hold her could be a contributing factor and she said the best person to speak to about that would be Avery's physiotherapist and then lo and behold we run into her this morning so um, couldn't have got better timing if we tried. Um, so I did manage to kind of just run that by her while we were, because we were both walking in the same direction, so I did manage to run that by her and she said that it was unlikely it was unlikely that um we caused the stiffness in her knee by doing that a because she does have the time to freely move her legs and she said it's more to do with the spasticity she said it's it's overuse of the muscle tone so uh, she does use her left leg more her left side is stronger and that is more likely to be what is causing the tightness because the tightness is actually in her hamstring that is why it's making her knee lock so that made me feel a whole lot better didn't it puts but i am still going to be conscious of um not bringing her legs in when i don't need to um just because it can't hurt so yeah are you singing me a song hey um, so yeah, uh, I'm so tired. There's something about going out first thing in the morning and then coming home and it's still being quite early. It feels like, oh dear, oh dear. It feels like I've already done an entire day and I'm just ready for bed. And I know Avery feels the same, so yeah, I'm just really tired. I'm not sure what more I'm really going to be able to get done today, feeling the way I'm feeling. Um, I do want to get Avery in her stander at some point today, just because we've had a bit of a relaxed week with the stander, because of appointments, and then going to Little Harbour on Wednesday. Um, but tomorrow, I'm actually going for lunch with my two closest friends. Um, I've mentioned in a vlog before that me and my two friends, we've been friends since secondary school. We decided that since we were all turning 30 within a few months of each other, it'd be nice to just go out for a nice child-free 30th birthday celebra celebratory lunch. So that is what we're doing. We're going to a nice little, it's like a little, little country pub. Um, the traffic's horrific where I live at the moment, so it's probably going to take me a lot longer than it should to get there. So I'm going to leave in good time, but I'm really looking forward to that. It'll just be nice to spend an hour or two with my friends, with uh, no child responsibilities. Josh is going to be here with the kids and have a nice lunch and a catch up and just... Um, okay celebrate our uh, turning 30 it's actually um two of us have already turned 30 it's um the last of us are turning 30 next week so yeah nice timing and i do also have a gift to give to my friend who's turning 30 next week um so i'll be able to give that to her then but yeah really looking forward to that but today i'm just i feel like I'm just not going to anyone for the rest of the day now. I'm going to do my basic chores, the dishes, feed the kids, 
make sure Avery's gone in her stander. Other than that, I think I am just gonna be chilling with Avery. I wish I could say when she goes for a nap, I will go for a nap. However, I have the boys and Avery doesn't tend to get put down when she naps anymore because she only naps for 30 minutes. And if I try and put her down, it's not very often that she actually stays asleep. So I'd rather just keep her in my arms and make sure she actually gets a good sleep. I know that's a really bad habit, but we're getting to the point now where naps will be obsolete soon anyway. She's sleeping okay at night, so I'm okay with it. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and get Avery to sleep now because she's she's just not happy being awake right now, are you, baby girl? So I've just finished getting ready for lunch. I've popped up a little bit of makeup, not much, just a tiny bit, but this is actually the first time I've worn eyeshadow in a really long time, so I feel nice. I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing today. So just a quick little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this really nice um, kind of medaxi floaty dress from Shein. I really really like it and then I've got my black Birkenstocks on and yeah really simple easy outfit but I actually feel really really pretty in it. So I will be heading out in about 10 minutes. Um, it's not raining at the minute but it has been this morning already so hopefully the weather holds out. Um, yeah looking forward to it. Apart from lunch, dinner was absolutely, or lunch should I say, was absolutely lovely. I really like that restaurant, it's really, really nice. I will say it took me an hour to drive five miles, that is what traffic is like. Where I live in the summertime, uh, excuse the noise, that's the boys of course, we've got all three of them this weekend. So yeah, it took me an hour to get there, so I was very late, um, the girls did wait for me, which was really, really nice though. Um, Food was really good, you would have seen that in the clips. It was absolutely lovely. And then as we were leaving, um, we were all trying to pay our bills and the power went out. So we had to wait for the power to come back on before we could pay and leave. So that was eventful. Um, but anyway, I have come home to a PR package from Wild. Um, if you've watched me for a while, you know that um, I love Wild deodorant. It's pretty much all I use in terms of deodorant now. It's completely plastic free. The refills are compostable. And yeah, you get the case and you just replace your refills. So really, really eco-friendly and um, no nasty chemicals as well. So good for your armpits too. And um, they have sent me a new one, which I'm really excited about. The scent is called Beach Bum, which is really ironic with us going away in just over a week. So this is vegan friendly, aluminium free, and oh, once again, smells incredible. And the case that they've actually sent me this time is right up my street, is this gorgeous neutral, almost slightly rosy beige color rosy brown color i wouldn't quite say it's rose gold but i really really like this one um so yeah thank you very much to wild for sending that over i am appreciative as always and um yeah i will continue to use my wild deodorant anyway i'm just gonna be chill for the rest of the day now i think i'm gonna stick some pajamas on um take my makeup off and start settling it down for the evening it doesn't sound like the boys are settling down at all um plans for tomorrow not a lot on really but my sister-in-law and my niece and nephew are coming over on monday for lunch so i might actually make some brownies tomorrow for when they come over on monday because i said i would bake something and it's nice to bake for other people outside of our household i mean i love baking for my family but it's always nice when other people can taste what you've made as well. So yeah, that's kind of my only plan for tomorrow really. And uh, then it's back to another busy week. A couple of hours later, Avery is just having her last feed. Aren't you put in all ready for Betty Buys? Um, excuse my appearance by the way, I feel like naked. Like I literally feel like I look bold when I haven't got my eyebrows filled in. Um, anyway. Uh, we had a lovely little 
family therapy session with Avery this evening. We were practicing some um, sit to stand. I got Avery splints and shoes on and um, we were practicing a little bit of sitting to stand in and the boys were helping out and cheering her on. It was really, really sweet. Um, anyway, uh, I realised that I didn't actually share with you um, what went on in Avery's dentist appointment and what was discussed so I thought I'd quickly give you an update because I did actually get a comment this evening on one of my videos about um, how we brush Avery's teeth safely and um, as I've kind of already explained a little bit that is very difficult um, but anyway so we went to the dentist the dentist checked her gums and her teeth she said that because Avery is nil by mouth at the moment um, we don't actually careful baby girl we don't actually need to worry about decay um i asked about the bacteria that can build up in the mouth and she said yes the bacteria can still be there but if there is no sugar there there's nothing for the bacteria to feed off of and then cause decay so we don't need to worry about tooth decay which is really good she said the main um disadvantage of not brushing her teeth as often as we should um, or as often as you know we would like to is um, sore gums um, now she said her gums didn't look sore at all so that's a really good thing and they will just keep an eye on her so she has another follow-up appointment or will have a follow-up appointment in about three months to just keep check of her gums and everything and um, naturally if she does start to have little tastes of things um, if it has any sugar in it then we will just need to be making sure that we're brushing the teeth on the days that she has tastes um, she did say that it looked like um, she had a little bit of overgrowth in her gums which she said can be really common with children that are on a lot of different medications. Uh, just another lo lo bleh, let's try that again. Just another lovely side effect of medications but she says um, she said they didn't look too bad and yeah we're just going to keep an eye on her. Um, so I talked to her about this film that Avery has on her back teeth. She's got this yellow film I just can't get rid of when I do brush her teeth. Um, I explained that we can't brush her teeth as often as we like. Decay isn't something we need to worry about, it is just so her gums don't get sore. However, the build up is literally just a build up of plaque and she said although it's not harmful, um, it can turn very very hard and it would be a risk to Avery if a chunk of that was to break off in her mouth um, you know with her having a poor swallow so she just said keep going with brushing her teeth as often as we can um, just to try and keep that plaque build up at bay um, but she said essentially it might not look nice but it's not you know it's not damaging her teeth in any way um, I explained the difficulty in brushing her teeth for all of the different reasons and um, she's actually given me a couple of things to try out. So first of all, she's given us this to try which is um, a special toothpaste. This is Aura Nurse and this is a specially formulated toothpaste for mouths sensitive to strong flavours. So this is flavour free and it's also non-foaming. Um, so one of the issues we have with Avery is obviously the toothpaste foams up in her mouth and she has excess saliva so all of that builds up and then she aspirates. This doesn't foam up and it doesn't have any flavour so hopefully it won't trigger the saliva as much and because it's not foaming in her mouth it's just less of a risk. So we're going to try this out. We have already tried it but I feel like we need to give it a little while to really determine if we feel like it makes a difference or not. And then also she's given us a special toothpaste toothpaste toothbrush to try um now i'm not too sure how well i'm going to be able to show you this purely because it's so small but that is it there and i'm not sure if you can see so the bristles on either side kind of curve around so it almost looks circular in a way and then there's a third kind of set of bristles sort of in the middle and the idea with this toothbrush is um, as we are brushing her teeth this is actually brushing the top front and back of the, each tooth so we haven't got to kind of focus on trying to get all in around her teeth um, we can just make a pass kind of over everywhere and this should hit a lot more areas 
of her teeth than a standard toothbrush would so again we're going to continue to try this out i am just keeping it in its protective case i like the fact that it came with this actually because um this is good for travel so when avery goes to wales soon um i can just pack this in her little bag like this and it's not going to get dirty and josh can brush her teeth while he is there and this is called the collis curve um, according to the dentist you can buy both of these online so I will have a look online and see if I can find the links and I will link them down below if I can find them because uh, like I said I have had someone ask me about this in the comments and um, I know that referral times for specialist dentists can be so long at the moment so if there's anyone that have been in a position like us where you just don't know what to do when you're waiting for your dentist referral um, yeah, these are the things that were recommended to us by the dentist and you can buy them online. So that is what we are going to continue to do. And um, yeah, I guess I'll update you later down the line if we feel like they've made a difference. Um, if they do, then obviously we're going to purchase them and we're just going to keep taking her back to the dentist. Um, I think every few months just to keep check on her gums and her plaque build up and make sure everything is okay um, but for the most part she was quite happy with her teeth quite the productive morning aside from actually getting changed <laughs> um i think i'm just gonna stay in my pajamas today until i go for a shower because it's sunday why not um so yeah i ended up cutting josh and marley's hair this morning so that's done and ready for when we all go away i say we all um josh is obviously going to wales we're going to spain um, made the brownies. They look so so nice. I really can't wait to tuck into them tomorrow I'm really looking forward to it But I hope you have enjoyed spending a few days with us and I kind of hope this video has been a bit informative I suppose with kind of Avery's appointments and how we take care of her uh, teeth and um, with her knee and stuff i just hope this video has been helpful and informative to those of you that are in a similar position to us but um hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video either way and uh, subscribe to follow along on our journey and i'll see you guys in a few days with another video bye guys